What's up guys it's ITC here and in this video we count down top 5 worst phones ever number 5 Nokia N-Gage get it N-Gage as in N-Gage <laughs> anyway Nokia what were you thinking with this really a phone designed to look like a handheld console seriously this phone came out in 2003 and the aim was probably to get gamers to buy this phone instead of Game Boys. Well, these days we play more games on mobile than console. It was not the same back in the day. The N-Gage had poor buttons and poor gaming experience. But wait, it's a phone. Well, it was also very awkward to be used as a phone. So what's the purpose of this thing? Oh, it's a total joke. Number 4. The Motorola Rocker E1. Yeah. Now, most of you might not know this, but this is the first phone Apple ever made. What, really? Nah, it was made by Motorola, but it had official iTunes support and the official iTunes music player, which kind of makes it the ancestor of the iPhone. Cool, right? Not really. It looked hideous and only stored a hundred songs. Wait, what? Hundred songs? The iPod Nano, which came out about the same time in the year 2005, which was not only smaller, prettier, but also stored up to four gigabytes of music. So what's the need of buying the Rocker E1 when you can buy the iPod to listen to iTunes music? Oh, I'm sorry, you need a phone too? Sorry. Number 3. The Nokia 7280 or the Nokia 7280. Well, another Nokia launched in 2004. This time, they had ditched the buttons. For a touchscreen, you say? Well, this is Nokia. They have something better. A dial called the Navi Spinner. Like the ones on the iPods. Well, they only look like the ones on the iPod. It was tedious and cumbersome to use and navigate. Again, what were they thinking? Number 2 The Motorola Razr 2 Ferrari Special Edition Huh, didn't see that coming. The Ferrari Special Edition Razr. Boy, that's a stretch. This is one of the worst product tie-ins ever. What were they actually thinking with this? What they did was take a Razer phone, paste a Ferrari sticker on it, add a few more ringtones, add a few Ferrari wallpapers, and with the big brand comes more... Pride? Nah, high price. And then sell it to people. Well, what a foolproof idea, right? Cause who doesn't like Ferrari? Number 1. Casio Gazone Commando. Uh, G Zone Commando. Anyway, wait. Did I read it right? Is it Casio, the guys who made my watch? They make phones too? Hmm, never knew. No wonder I didn't know that they did make phones. Because this phone not only has one of the worst names ever, but it's also one of the worst phones. It runs an Android version that's very very old. It has a rugged body and a good battery life, but it's slow and the qual quality is no good. It's not a good looking phone either. Rugged, yes, but why Casio? I think you should focus more on watches and stuff because trust me, you do a very good job there. That's it for me in this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more entertaining top 5s and tech videos. Share the video and leave a like if you enjoyed and 
I think it's a good time to look at your current phone and be proud of it, right? Unless you own one of these above-mentioned phones. In that case, you should just 